Hey, what's up everybody? Live on Facebook, just checking in, taking a couple minute break. Uh, wanted to just share with you, I am sitting here at the Balboa Bay Club, uh, basically in hiding, spending the next uh, couple of days codifying, at least today, all of the best marketing and lead generation strategies, all the best tactics, all of the best uh, marketing approaches, all of the best uh, pieces, all the best emails, all the best social strategies, so you can dominate your market in terms of listings. Um, this is something that you know every year. It's it, I just get so fired up because it's my uh, pre you know summit time where I get to look at you know all of you know the best systems, all the best approaches, all the best tools, all the best tactics, and codify them in a way that I can share them with you live, where you can say, you know what, I'm doing that one, I'm doing that one, but you know what, Tom, you're right. I'm gonna add this one, this one, and this one. Well, I'll just give you guys an example, right? Here's what I've done so far. We've codified the top 13 listing strategies, and I'm actually gonna go through each one of them in depth, right, with what is the best approach? What is, you know, is it gonna be phone? Is it gonna be doors? Is it gonna be email? Is it gonna be direct mail? Is it gonna be social? Is it gonna be video? Is it gonna be, you know, texting? Every one of those, right, with all 13, so you know with absolute certainty I can execute on that one and I know what to send, the frequency, how often, and what I need to do and who I need to be to be the one that ultimately wins that business. So that's the first thing. The second thing, and by the way, that's gonna take two and a half hours, right, just to go through all of those, because here's what I know. What I know is when you take the right number of listings, obviously you control the market, you make the money that you want, and the time it takes for you to go out and secure a listing versus in this market to take a buyer out and show them how many properties and go through that whole search process and in many cases because of your price point to finally write an offer and have it not get accepted, you or your buyer's agent, uh, I don't have to tell you the struggle and the challenge of time. So I'm hyper focused right now, at least in this you know, section of the summit on what we're going to do to have you become the dominant listing agent in your marketplace. So the first thing is to make sure that we are basically uncovering every opportunity for you to get all the listings. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through content marketing. Now, you know I'm a huge fan of content marketing. I'm gonna walk you through, ready? Video and the perfect month of videos that you should be producing. Now, I know for some of you, oh my gosh, videos, it's not my thing. Listen to me. You wanna do video because you can multi-purpose a video into text for a blog, into audio for a podcast, um, onto Facebook, onto Instagram, into your LinkedIn channels, uh, through your email, kind of talking the second part, which is the third part, which is distribution. Um, we're gonna talk about how do you get your message out? I want you to become choosable. Right? I want you to become the recognizable agent, whether it's in your hyper-local you know, community or in your overall market. And I tell you, when it comes to videos, some of you know me, thinking very outside of the box, one of the, one of the strategies I'm gonna present, so just an early heads up, think about this. What has been tried and true is we take a listing and we send out a just listed card, you know, we do an open house. And if you look at what we've done the last couple of years, we've tried to plus and enhance or modernize many of those tried and true methodologies by using technology or video, primarily because you can reach more people, it's multi-sensory versus just a piece of paper or an email or a text or a phone call. Um, it's just, there's just so much more. It's got legs, it lives forever, if you will, on the internet. So one of the things that we're gonna to talk to you about is, you know, a lot of agents are spending a lot of money to market that listing. And I think that's a big mistake, right? Now, let me restate that. I think you're missing an opportunity to do video just solds. Think about it. I'm actually gonna present the entire model and show you some examples of what our clients are doing, where they're actually doing video just sold. Not just, you know, hey, here's my new listing, and you're walking around saying, look at this beautiful conference room here at the Balboa Bay Club, but instead, you're actually putting out on video the social proof and telling the story of the sellers and your marketing plan and the hurdles you had to jump through and why this property sold and how you were able to solve the problem and what the lessons are for the future seller watching this video. And then, oh my goodness, when I teach you how to tag that video appropriately for YouTube, 
to push it to all the people in that zip code, in that area, and then your Facebook strategy following up on that video into the marketplace, people are gonna be saying, OMG, this gal knows how to list and sell real estate. That is the person I choose. So that's just an example. Lots on content. Going into follow-up to make sure that you never lose an opportunity. We know the stats. Get this, guys. The average agent follows up 1.4 times. I, I can't even, I mean, it's incomprehensible, right? We're talking about agents that spend money to generate leads, and the average person's following up 1.4 times. What is that? First of all, how do you follow up 0.4 times? What do you do? You like, you like send uh, an email half done. You, you, you call, and if they answer, you hang up. But the numbers are the numbers, right? We're following up 1.4 times. I'm actually going to walk you through what we refer to as the million-dollar follow-up plan. The million dollar follow up plan. So I show you the foundation, what has to be in place. Then I walk you through day one, day two, day five, all the way out to day 30. And here's what we know when you follow up, you convert. It's that simple. The truth is, if I just taught you that and you left at the end of the summit and you executed it, you, your business would skyrocket. But I'm gonna give you more. I also know that the competition today for getting listings has never been greater. Now, we're just on the marketing side, my friends. If you're just jumping in with me, this is just, you know, we, we're gonna go through marketing, mindset, and the business model and the tools and the planning strategy to grow your business and then your money, right? So all four of the M's, this is just the marketing side. How do you win every listing? How do you put yourself in a position where I don't care if you're competing with the number one agent, the single agent, the biggest team in town, the discount broker, right? Anybody, I don't care who it is, right? You know, offer pad, right? It doesn't make a difference. There are differentiating factors that you need to have in place so when you're sitting in front of Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you can articulate the massive degrees of separation and the reasons why they should ultimately list with you. And by the way, when this stuff's in place, what do you think happens to your confidence? What do you think happens to your desire to get on the phone and to follow up? Because now you've got these massive degrees of separation, this, this true separation between you and the competition and why your unique factors solve their problem in an elegant, beautiful way so you can help them achieve their goals. When that's in place, my friends, it's magical. It's absolutely magical. You know it and I know it. When you have that special little secret sauce, right? That little unique factor, that little thing that you get super passionate about. You, you wanna go share it, you wanna go present it. So I'm gonna walk you through a whole series of how to win every single listing. And the last part of that is your differentiating factor, right? What is gonna be that true unique selling factor? I don't wanna say unique selling proposition, the unique selling factor. So when someone refers you, they actually refer to you, oh, you wanna call, um, you know, uh, Jose because, you know, he does this. Like, uh, there's a lot of agents out there, but he does this, right? You wanna call, uh, you know, Mary because she was able to, uh, 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 and it was just obvious. I mean, we all have friends in real estate, right? We all know people that sell houses, right? But I chose her, I chose him because of these unique factors. And that, I'm just giving you an overview. Those are just, five things that I'll be going through on day one and a little bit on the morning of day two to make sure that not only you finish strong in 2018, not only are you gonna finish strong, right? My promise to you is we're gonna double the number of listings that you're taking. We're gonna double the number of listings that you're taking. We're gonna double the number of listings that you're taking. And I know looking down this list, there's some people on here that are taking a lot of listings, so the pressure's on. By the way, these same strategies, I'm talking to a whole bunch of my personal clients about, and some of these guys and gals, well, Jill Biggs listed 34 homes in the last 30 days. Jill Biggs listed 34 homes, my friends, in the last 30 days. It's all the same principles I'll be sharing with you. So whether your ambition is to go out and list 30 homes a year or 34 homes in a month, Everything you need, all in that first day and a half. That's my promise to you. I hope you're joining us. I'm super fired up. I gotta get back to work. I got a lot of writing to do. I got a lot of codifying to do. Get all this stuff all together in an easy to digest package so you can go, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Uh, I'm not doing it, I'm gonna add it. Mm, I'm not ready for that one yet. Oh, I absolutely need to do that one. Bam, and that's what gives us the spark. Thanks for all the hearts, by the way, I see going by. All right, I'm gonna get back to writing. I'll see you in August at the summit. Love.